हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीपीपी नट्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन स्ट्रिंग रिलेटेड प्लेसमेंट सीरीज एंड दिस इज एट्थ क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज इज वैलिड पेलिंड्राम सो दिस इज अ स्लाइटली मॉडिफाइड वर्जन ऑफ अ वैलिड पेलिंड्राम वेयर योर इनपुट स्ट्रिंग इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक दिस इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी लाइक ए बी ए एंड देन यू हैव टू चेक इफ इट इज पेलिंड्राम और नॉट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी दैट सिंपल it may have space and then comma and then all these characters so given this string you have to tell if it is palindrome meaning you have to return true or false and the complexity is this string is having all sort of different characters but you only have to consider alpha numeric meaning a to z capital and small and 0 to 9 that's it no space no comma no semicolon no colon and all that okay so is just that from this given string you have to convert it into some different string so that you can find out whether it is palindrome or not so this would look like a trivial program but every question has its significance right and the significance for this is like how you are going to check whether this is alpha numeric or not i mean whether this character is alpha numeric or not because then you have you have to check different different ascii values and so many if and else will be there and we have the solution already provided in c c++ and maybe python and all those programming languages to just simply check if the given character is alpha numeric so the whole point is just to show you that function okay because i know you know how to find any string is palindrome or not you just have to compare this character with this character then this character with this character you will go in a loop by length divided by 2 because first we'll get compared with the last one and then second will get compared with the second last and like that you will just do that okay if you don't know what is palindrome and all that i already have a video you may get the link here you you watch that because this is really very really important question if you are fresher so let me directly show you the code so this these two are just the simple examples so this is our code this is the function is l num meaning is alpha numeric okay rest is like very easy so the whole logic is you'll write a function you will get this string this this whole string and then you will convert that string you will have a loop and take character by character and you will check if this character is alpha numeric then only you will put that into a new string what i am calling is like reversed string or something like that okay so you just keep pushing all the characters into new string okay this is the new string and yeah you have to either make them lower case or upper case so that you have a better comparison in the end okay so when you are pushing it you are converting all the characters for the sake of comparison to a lower case so this is the construction part then you will check so this is one corner case if your string is empty then also it is a true case otherwise just go ahead and reverse this string whatever we generated we can reverse that string and compare it with the temp string so yeah before reversing you just stored it temporarily so that this was the actual original string and then you reversed it and original was actually stored here temporarily now you can compare that with the reversed one and if it is true you just return true otherwise false so this statement is going to either return true or false depending on the condition if reversed is actually equal to the original one so this can be optimized you know i have already told you like how to find if something is palindrome or not without actually reversing it and all that because the uh, interviewer won't be so happy if you do this because this is character by character comparison okay and we know there is a better approach what i just explained you here so i am again telling you this whole video was just to show you this function otherwise you had to write so many if and else so that you can say that your number is in between these characters okay and you already have this function so no need to write all these 
if and else so this was really a simple video but if you didn't know this function then go ahead and hit the like button because now you know this function and this is super cool yeah so i'll see you in the next videos guys bye bye take care